I'm, I'm back with the review of the Razer THX dongle deck. Super straightforward, so that's the box. Razer. And, and that's it. This is lent over to me by a friend of mine, so, so um, thanks very much, I appreciate it. So yeah, Razer dongle deck. 3.5 input which supports microphones with three buttons so that's quite useful braided cable THX certification because Razer own THX so because they like the innards of the THX are in like the, the expensive mono price and the drop is it 799 really good amps same as the mono price one uh, AN type C this unfortunately I get out of the way isn't a good product. I'll get to the I say I guess get the bad things out of the way first. This only works on Windows 10 or Android. So if you've got Windows 7 or 8.1 or 8 on like laptops or PCs, this won't work because it's like like the Mizu I I uh, reviewed kind of recent. There's no drivers. Windows 10, plug and play, not a problem. Obviously on a compatible USB Type-C phone, no problems. But when I use this in Windows, the maximum it would do was 16-bit 48,000 hertz and 24-bit 48,000 hertz, that's it. Same quality was okay, output was kind of weak. And in the description, I'll link to someone who's analysed this on a scientific level, it's probably the best way to put it, because I've got more better equipment. Yeah, but I'll link that in the description so you can have a good read of it. But yeah, that's it. So quite sure, Brady cable, three point five, super straightforward. No instructions. I don't know if there was some in the box, but I say this. A friend of mine lent me this. This is around. £25 to buy it and he paid about 15 but for £25 I think for me in the UK there's better options really um, as a dongle duck this I don't think this is the best but one of the best budget ones if you can get one is the Apple version for like $10 and the American version has more power than the EU ones, which are about 1 volt, and EU ones are 0.5 volt. That's it really. This sounds okay, it's nothing, it's nothing great. It's probably a little bit too much. And to be brutally honest, it doesn't deserve the THX name, really. But in the corner, I'll link to my review of the Mizu Hi-Fi Pro DAC, which is superior in every way, I'll link that up in the corner because that's the one you should buy I think I paid around 31 for that and this is say for me we either from Amazon it's 24 99 so it's like £6 difference for £6 just buy the best one which is the Mizu I think it's meant to be one of the best ones under $100 so that's definitely one thing to consider and that's it, really short review because there's not much to say but yeah Windows 7 and 8.1, no good. So Windows 10 or Android, and that's it. Maybe it maybe we have use with an adapter, but then again, Windows 7 and 8 don't support that without drivers. And I think that's it. Super short review from me, but I can't really ask to say. I recommend to either go cheaper and get the Apple one. Or if you want the best under $100-ish, go for the Maizu Hi-Fi Pro. Not just the Hi-Fi, you have to look for the Pro variant, which is the superior one. It's only slightly more expensive, so it's the one to go for. And yeah, I think that's how I'm out. And yeah, any questions you want to know, just pull in the comments and I'm out. And I'll see you all in the next video.